Hey guys, welcome back to Bible Fun with the Duns. Today we are in Psalms and we're studying uh, chapters 16 through 17. Let's jump right in. All right. In chapter 16, David seems to be joyful and upbeat and worshipful, and we're excited about that. He asks God to continue to preserve him. He calls him his refuge again, his safe place, and then he takes the time to observe the things that God has done. He delights that there are others in the land who put their faith in God. He's sad for those who don't worship God, but worship other things, idols, other gods, because they know he knows they'll always be sad. He praises God for God's plan for his life, even when it currently may not look like what he wants it to. He knows that his future is beautiful as long as he trusts in God. He knows God is his refuge and safe place in his present, and he writes this psalm, but God is also the one who holds his eternity and his future. Even though he's not fully sure what that means, he knows that God will never leave him. And as he says in verse 11, it's in God's presence that he'll have fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore. Then in chapter 17, David continues to talk about all the troubles that he's seen since Samuel privately anointed him as king. And David is reminding God of his innocence, not saying that he's perfect. Remember, we've already learned that we're all sinners, but that he's innocent of what his accusers like Saul have been saying about him. Then David continues praying to God and asking him to continue loving on him and loving and caring for him like he has been. He prays for God to keep him as the apple of his eye, meaning that all of these enemies and other people may say bad things about him or lie about him, but all he knows all that matters is what God thinks of him. God's thoughts and opinions are the only ones that matter. We find our identity in God. We let God tell us who we are and not other people. So guys, what was your takeaway from today? John, what was yours? Mine was uh, the very beginning of chapter 6. Again, 16. Oh, chapter 16. Um, it is, preserve me, Lord. Pres preserve me, oh God. <laughs> For in you I take refuge. I say, I, I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. I love that part too. Jax, what was your takeaway? Okay, my takeaway was, uh, for you will not abandon me to shield. You will not allow your faithful one to see decay. Okay, so what this is talking about here, shield is associated with the grave and death, and decay is the process of decomposition which is uh when we die we turn back into dirt so david is saying here that um uh when you die you won't die permanently as long as you believe in god and you trust him he will promise you a home in heaven there you go okay the theme that i see in both of these chapters is spoken of in um chapter 16 verse 2 and it says i say to the lord you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. God is the source and the definer of all that is good. No other source can be good like him. No other can plan our lives better than he. No other can give better gifts. No other can define us and tell us who we are. And no other can satisfy the longings and the desires of our heart like God can. In his presence, is where we get fullness of joy. Some questions for y'all to talk about as a family. Kids, has anyone ever called you something mean or bad or tried to tell you who you were? What do you think God says about you? Think of some ways that you know God is good. And then just for some encouragement, keep on reading your Bible together, families. Keep on discussing and keep on seeking God. Remember, in his presence, we can have fullness of joy and like my friend Tara Lee Cobble always says, he's where the joy is. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.